So what we're going to do with this video is we're going to go over all of Broly's forms from Dragon Ball Super Broly, the story behind the forms, the references, and the nuances, pretty much explaining what they are, including that suppressed great ape form that people have been asking about. What is the story behind that? I got it for you here on this video. We'll talk about it next. Before being a Dragon Ball fan, I grew up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and right now on Verve, you can watch the Japanese original series, Kyoru Sentai Ju Ranger, not to mention Dai Ranger and Kaku Ranger, which were adapted into seasons 1, 2, and 3 of Power Rangers, and I'm telling you right now, it's very different, but very awesome. Check it out on Verve, try it for free, vrv.co slash geekdom. Now, obviously, this video will contain spoilers for the film, so I'm going to make this video with the idea and the assumption that you've already seen the movie. Now, when talking about Broly's transformations in power, you have to remember what is told to us early in the film when Broly is still in the capsule and the scientists are telling King Vegeta that Broly's power is unusual. And we actually see him scan Broly, and for a split second, his power goes up, then it goes back down, and they discuss this for a while in the movie, and that's kind of the key to Broly's power, and that is the fact that it's based purely on rage, it can be out of control, and when it's out of control, Broly himself lets off an incredible amount of power, and he has to be restrained, whether it be with Paragus's shock treatment, or whether it be with Gogeta Blue in the movie, so... Early on in the film, during Broly's fight with Vegeta, we established that Broly's base form is already incredibly strong because Broly fights Vegeta in his base, Vegeta goes golden-haired SSJ, and Broly's still hanging with him. Obviously, Vegeta's the better tactical fighter, but Broly's still in the hunt with him. Now, Broly's base form by itself is insanely strong. Goku even comments on it because we see Vegeta having trouble with Broly until he goes into SS God. When he taps into that God power, then he's able to actually defeat Broly in the film until he comes back and rises up out of the water. This time he has yellow eyes and thus he is in his suppressed great ape form, which is what Paragus talks about in the film. Now we're going to get to that here in just a moment. I want to clarify something though. People have been kind of wondering, well, wait a minute. The only training Broly did was he fought Paragus and then he trained with Ba, his pet, you know, dodging him and whatnot. That's what Broly said. That appears to be the case and it's one of those things where you can criticize the power scaling if you want. I think Toriyama's whole idea is that Broly is a freak of nature. He's a prodigy, sort of like Kale. And because of that, he's able to not only become very strong very fast, but he learns as he fights, learns more about himself and his opponents. And we see that when he fights Goku and is able to use Goku's own move, the God Bind, on him right after. Now, back to the suppressed great ape form so they explain that broly is somehow able to tap into the power of an uzaru a great ape without actually transforming into one now they don't actually explain or show how broly was able to discover this power like they never actually show us how he's able to do it we don't know if he tapped into it while he was a great ape or if he tapped into it when he got his tail cut off by his dad it's never really explained but one thing that fans have constantly brought up is that they feel and I kind of agree with them that this could be a tribute or an homage to Dragon Ball GT's SS4 and what I mean by that is this in Dragon Ball GT Goku is fighting Vegeta baby or baby Vegeta and he looks at the full earth and he becomes the golden great ape the golden Uzaru form and he's out of control then he's able to control that power and mutate one more time into the SS4 transformation Super Saiyan 4 form in GT now this transformation that Goku does as a humanoid is way stronger than Golden Uzaru. I mean, it just is. But Goku, it appears like, was able to control himself and suppress that power and convert it into something more. And people have said, is this Toriyama rewriting GT's SS4? I don't know if that's what's going on here, but I do know that it definitely could be, and I say could be because we haven't heard an official statement about this, a tribute or an homage 
to Dragon Ball GT. It could definitely be an idea that was inspired by GT, but Broly's power is not quite the same as SS4, so we can't say it's the same thing. It's just not the same thing. But the idea of a character, I guess, learning how to, you know, master and control himself in Great Ape, we've seen Vegeta do it and other people do it, but to actually convert that into energy where you don't have to be in the Great Ape form, that is certainly something they may have borrowed from GT. Now, when Broly is in this power, he has yellow eyes, which may also be a little hint or a little nod at Dragon Ball GT because Goku also has yellow eyes when he is in that form. But even if Toriyama does decide to actually make SS4 to like rewrite it for Super, it's still not going to be the same thing. There will be differences. But either way, Broly shows an incredible increase in power as he's fighting Vegeta, then Goku, then Gogeta. So with the Vegeta fight, he taps into this power. And if we're basing it on the original calculations given to us back in the day, the Great Ape form is supposed to give you a 10 times multiplier. In addition to that, Broly also shoots out Mouth Blast, which we've seen Mouth Blast from other characters like Nappa and others, but in this case, it's implied to be because Uzaru's great apes also use Mouth Blast. So there's that whole tie-in. Basically, Broly is raging out. He's out of control. Some are calling this form Suppressed Rage. I don't know what to really call it because it has no official name, Suppressed Uzaru, but basically, this is the form that Broly uses before the incident with Paragus happens, which we're going to get to here in a minute. So Broly fights Vegeta as a god, is doing much better, then Goku steps in, and during that fight, he also is having trouble with Super Saiyan God Goku until at one point in the fight, Broly does get stronger, gets more control, and winds up really beating the crap out of Goku for quite some time. So as a result of that, we're witnessing Broly getting stronger and stronger as he fights. Then, of course, there's the scene where... Spoiler, I warned you at the beginning of the video, Frieza kills Paragus, Broly becomes a Super Saiyan. Now, this is the first time that Broly ever tapped into this power, which is kind of weird considering that you would think if he's able to rage out, he'd be able to rage out enough to get this power, but either way, maybe he never felt heartbreak. Maybe you have to feel that first. It's difficult to really say what happened to Broly because, again, we never saw much of him on Vampa when he was training there's not much there so broly does transform and using the old guidebooks and multipliers this is a 50 times multiplier now i'm not a power scaler but logically if the controlled grade ape form if we're using the same multipliers from back in the day in the older material if these multipliers stack we've got a 50 times multiplier for the original golden haired super saiyan transformation 10 times multiplier for the grade ape could this be a 500 times multiplier? It's up to you. Let me know in the comments if you think it is. Now, that being said, this version of Broly is able to mop the floor with Goku and Vegeta, both in blue post-Tournament of Power. So, Goku and Vegeta's combined Kamehameha, Gallic Gun, I guess, combo move, Gallic Kamehameha or Kamehameha Gun, whatever you want to call it, that did nothing. Broly shredded right through it with his energy and thus, Goku and Vegeta decide to go fuse, and they make Gogeta. Now, this would lead to Gogeta versus Broly, and they have a pretty competitive fight. Broly's able to hang in there with Gogeta until they go to the alternate realm when they shatter reality. Now, in this purple void world, we see Broly power up one more time where his armor breaks off of him, and he turns gigantic and buff and has green hair, and this is what is referred to now as Broly Full Power, which is another transformation. Now, why am I saying that? Why isn't it just full power Super Saiyan? Because it's not. See, this transformation, Broly not only gains a considerable amount of size, but he's bigger than ever and stronger than ever because this forces Gogeta to go into Gogeta Blue, if you remember. So, this form, the reason why I'm even calling it a form is because it is a form, because this form is an obvious throwback to the original Broly from the original three Dragon Ball Z movies and in the original guidebooks I'm saying the word original a lot but I have to here in the original guidebooks it actually differentiates Broly Super Saiyan from legendary Super Saiyan so when Broly gets to his full power in the old Broly movies this is LSSJ Broly and it is 
its own transformation according to the guidebooks. Now, obviously, the guidebooks don't have as much weight as Toriyama's word or the original manga, and they're covering movies that Toriyama did not write, the old movies, of course, but Toriyama certainly may have taken influence from them. In fact, he said he did in the original interview for the Broly movie, the new one, and thus, that tells me that if they're going to count this as its own form back in the day, then logically that tells me that Broly full power from the new movie is basically the new version of Legendary Super Saiyan, that original transformation that Broly had exclusive to him for his movies. Now, the word Legendary Super Saiyan gets thrown around a lot with a lot of different contexts. I mean, I could make a whole video on that, and maybe I will someday, but... The form itself does have that name in the original Daizen shoes, and thus that tells me that Broly Full Power is its own form, plus he's a lot bigger, and when he goes back to Planet Vampa and he powers down, you see him decrease in size. So whatever power this is, which is of course very similar to Kale's power in Universe 6, that tells me that there's similarities here, and of course it doesn't take a rocket science to figure that one out, that this is a obviously to tell the fans hey it's not the old broly but we're going to give you some of the stuff the old broly did and that's how he got this power it's never stated exactly how strong he is because we never see gogeta blue go all out we see a little bit of his power but we never see him truly go all out even though in the broly novel it does state that we saw a bit of his full power we didn't see everything gogeta blue does win the fight now, please be aware that this transformation was created, or that is to say, recreated, not by Akira Toriyama. It actually was not even included in the original design sheets that Toriyama sent to Toei for the film. No, this was meant to be a purposeful Easter egg, a purposeful throwback by art director Naohito Shintani. That about does it for this video. If Broly gets new forms, I will do an updated version in the future of Dragon Ball Super, but that covers everything from base, suppressed, Super Saiyan, and then legendary, or the new name is Full Power. It's the same concept, I think. Giant Broly doesn't get any speed reductions or anything like that. No handicaps. He's just out of control. So, anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.